Hey guys, I'm back with part 2 for this tutorial on how to build this wooden mansion. Here in this one, I'm going to be marking out where the front porch is going to be. I'm going to be bringing up the exterior walls for the second floor of the house. And we should also have time to do the roof for the sides of the house. I went ahead and gathered up all the blocks I'm going to be using for now. So be sure to go ahead and grab some stripped spruce logs. The spruce wood stairs. Spruce wood planks. Oak wood planks. Oak wood stairs some lecterns, spruce trap doors, and white stained glass panes. I'm going to start out by using the stripped spruce logs, and I'm just going to continue bringing up the rest of these pillars where the second floor is going to be marked out. So I'll just start over here at this right side, all the way over here. So we're not going to be bringing up all of these pillars here on the sides of the house at the front. Same with the back, just like those uh, very back ones there, but pretty much everywhere else will be brought up. So starting right here, we'll go ahead and just bring it up an additional 8 layers. Like that. And now you can see, we're lined up with all of these other pillars. We're just going to go straight across all the way to the other side and continue bringing these up by an additional 8 layers. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot to mention, right here with the space of 2 are, go on... So for this one, I'm here at the front side, I'm more towards this right side. So you want to make sure you're lined up with the left pillar. This is the only side we're bringing up. This other part is just going to stay down here. So for the other space of 2 over here, we're going to be lined up with this side. So like that. So that other part there is going to stay down. Same with that part there. But all these other pillars will be brought up. So there we go. This is what the front side's looking like so far. Now let's head on to the back. Well actually we'll go here at the side. We have this one just right here in the middle. We'll bring this up. We'll be doing that on the other side as well. And then you can see right here, we're going to be bringing all of these up, as well as those ones at the back. So we have that section brought up. We'll do the same over to this side. So we have this one right here in the middle. We have this one here. And then those three right there. And there we go. Now, all of this right here at the back will also be brought up. So we have these corner ones right here. We have these. These single ones here. These other two. And these corner ones. So those will be brought all the way up to the same height as all the others. So we brought up all of the pillars. Except for these three sections here on the sides for the back and the front. So same with that side. And we also didn't bring up that side where these double pillars are. As well as that space there. But everything else is brought up and this is what it's looking like so far. Now I'm going to start filling in all of the space in between the pillars. Here on the front side, make sure you have your oak wood planks. Now just head on over here more towards this right side. And we're just going to be right above where we added these windows. So right on top of where you see these oak wood planks, you just want to add an additional three layers. So now you see the oak wood stair right here. So right on top of that, there should be a total of four layers of these oak wood planks above it. So now everywhere else, until you meet up over there, it's just an additional three layers of the oak wood planks. And real quick, after we add these three layers, make sure to also fill in this extra space here, where the pillar didn't get brought all the way up. Just like that. We'll be doing that to the other space as well. This is what it's looking like so far. Right here in the middle where we have the doorways for the first floor, we're going to have another set of doorways up here for the balcony. 
So you could just go ahead and delete these two blocks. This is where the doors are going to be, so we'll go ahead and just get that out of the way. But now, everywhere else, we're going to be adding windows. So I'll just head on over here, back to the right side. We'll add the layers of the oak wood planks just all the way up until we meet up with the height of these pillars. And then we're going to have the white stained glass panes, upside down oak wood stairs, and then the two additional blocks of the oak wood planks. So that is a window. We're going to be doing that pretty much just lining up where all of the other windows are. So we won't worry about the doorway space quite just yet. And that means we also have to continue bringing up this extra space of the planks right here, lined up where this pillar didn't get brought all the way up. So that means there's going to be two spaces here, and then just one space here for these spaces, for that side as well. Uh, you know what, right here where the doorway is, I'll go ahead and bring this all the way up on each side. I guess we'll go ahead and do the doorway. So let's go ahead and replace these two oak wood planks here with spruce wood planks. I'll go ahead and grab the doors. We'll go from the inside. I'll fill that in. Go back on the outside. I'll add two upside down oak wood stairs. And then white stained glass panes on top of that. And then the rest of the space will be the full blocks of the oak or of the uh, oak planks. So it's like that. All these other spaces will continue with the windows. And this is what the front side is looking like so far. Now for the sides, we're just going to continue with the pattern that we already did for the first floor. So we have the oak wood planks, we'll just bring up on each side to the same height as the pillars. And then we have these stripped spruce logs right down the middle. So we'll do that for this section here and for the other side over there. And there we go, just like that on both sides. Now let's go to the back. And we're going to continue filling in all of this space throughout here in the middle. And for these little side pieces. So it's just going to be the same thing we did at the front. So we have the additional three layers of the oak wood planks. For all of the spaces, we'll go through all throughout here. All around here in the middle. And to the other side right there. So just like that, we marked it all out. Uh, right here, we're not, actually no, we're not going to have a doorway here because there's no reason to, we're not going to have a balcony or anything. So we're actually just going to have another window here. So all of that space we just filled in, let's go ahead and continue on and we're just going to have a window in every single space. Just the same design that we've done everywhere else. And there we go, this is what the backside's looking like so far now. I'm still here at the backside. I have these stripped spruce logs, and I'm going to start adding some beams in between all of the pillars, right above the windows for the first floor. So we're going to be here on the same layer as these oak wood planks, just right above where these stairs are. So in between all of these pillars, we're just adding some beams like that. And we're going to be doing that for all of the second floor walls here on the back side. Up until right there. So just added those beams going across all throughout here at the back side like that. And then here at the front, we're just going to have it for this space right here. As well as for the space over on that other side, we're not doing it here in the middle because we have the front porch still to do and that it's also going to have a balcony. So it's just going to be for these two spaces here, like that, as well as for these two spaces over here. While we're at it, we might as well do the sides of the house as well. So on that same layer, 
we're going to go ahead and just continue adding these beams just in between all of these pillars. We're not going to be doing anything with this corner. We're going to just skip right over that. We're going to be doing it here for all of this space as well. So just bring that straight across. Looking like this so far. All right. Let's finish it up. So we have that entire side done. We'll head on over here to this side and we're going to do the same thing. And there we go. Now, the next thing we'll go ahead and do is start marking out the front porch. We're going to continue with these stripped spruce logs. I'll head on over here more towards this right side, lined up where these double pillars are. We're going to be four spaces away from them. So we have the one, two, three, and four. So we're going to be on this fifth block. You can just place two pillars like that side by side, lined up how those ones are. And then we're going to go ahead and bring one more out right here on just this side. So it's a little L shape like this, kind of like a little corner space. We'll go over here to this side, lined up where these pillars are, and do the same thing. Like that. And then you can line up where the other four pillars are. So just line up where these two spaces are as well. You can just add two like that. You could also see, just to make sure, you still have the one space of grass here until you meet up at the edge of the plot size for the house itself. So that just marks out where the pillars for the front porch are going to be. Let's go ahead and add an additional seven layers on top of these, so it'll be eight in total. This is what it's looking like so far. Now we're going to be doing the same base design that we did for the rest of the house with the jungle leaves, the stairs, and the stone bricks. And I actually forgot to grab those blocks, so I'll go ahead and grab them now. I'll just get rid of the spruce door. I'll grab these stone bricks. And then we also need those jungle leaves. And I'll just swap out the white stained glass paints for now. We'll start with the jungle leaves. We're just going to go in between all of these pillars. I'll start over here at this left side. We'll just place the jungle leaves like that. So we still have an extra space of the pillar on each side. It's not at the same edge as the pillars. So just like we've done everywhere else, you can see how we have the additional space. So we'll do that all along here at the front. Just make sure to skip over this middle section here where the doorways are. On top of these jungle leaves, we'll go ahead and have the upside down spruce wood stairs. And now behind all of the jungle leaves, we'll go ahead and have the stone bricks. Now here in the middle, you could go ahead and switch to the spruce wood stairs. And we're going to be one block further than the edge of the pillars. So we're going to be right here. We're going to place four of the spruce wood stairs like that. We'll go up on the next layer in between these pillars now. Add another set of four. And if you don't plan on doing any of the landscaping, then you could go ahead and either just go on each side and curve around the stairs like that and leave it as it is. Or you could go ahead and add some spruce wood slabs here. But I'm going to be leaving mine as it is, since we're going to have part of the landscaping going right here. We're not going to be able to have anything. And now for all the other space, on the same layer as the second set of stairs, you could go ahead and switch to the spruce wood planks. And we're just going to start filling all of this in for the front porch. So we have all of that filled in so far. Now let's go ahead and switch to the lecterns. We're just going to be right above all of these upside down stairs that we have along the edge. And we're going to add our lecterns for the railings. You just want to make sure once again to skip over the middle space right here.
Now you can switch to the spruce trapdoors, and then crouch and place these on top of all of the lecterns. And there we go. So this is what everything is looking like for the front porch so far. And now I'm gonna go ahead and maybe start laying out where the actual balcony part's gonna be now. Now switch back to the stripped spruce logs. We're gonna be going in between all of the pillars here for the front porch. And we're gonna be one block lower than these beams that we have here. And we want to make sure we're on the inner part of these pillars, not on the outer side. So uh, this layer right here, we're going to start adding some more beams going across. So another thing to pay attention to, you should still be able to see one, two, and three full blocks of space and team meet up with the railing here where the trap doors are. So we have these three full blocks here, and then on uh, this layer is where the beam starts. We'll go ahead and fill the rest of the space in. So that's what it's looking like. And now switch to some... Actually, we have to grab some spruce wood slabs. I wasn't planning on doing all of the roof and stuff here for the porch, which is why I didn't grab any of this. But let's go ahead and switch to the spruce wood slabs. And it's at the top layer of all those beams, just right here, we're going to be adding these slabs. So it'll be like that. Now switch to the spruce wood stairs. We're going to be adding these upside down as a little overhang all along the top edge of these pillars. So we'll start right here, right up against this block. You can see we're just right above where these slabs are. We're going to start adding these upside down stairs as an overhang. And once you meet up right here, you want to go ahead and add a spruce wood slab. And then you could go ahead and bring this straight across to the other side. So we're going to have that slab just right here in the corner like that. Right underneath here, we're going to fill this in with a full block of the spruce planks. So this is what the corner is looking like. We'll continue on with the stairs, bring this just straight across to the other side. So we're going to have this until we're lined up with that pillar, then we'll have the slab, and then we'll connect the stairs all the way across. So right there, and then we have the full block right here for that space. So this is what it's looking like so far. Now, back to your stripped spruce logs. We're going to continue bringing up the rest of the pillars for the balcony space. So we're not going to be doubling up any of these except for these two spaces right here in the middle. So we'll go ahead and do that now. We're just going to bring up an additional eight layers. So it'll be at the same height as the other... as like pretty much everything else for the second floor so far. So we have that middle section done, just doubled up like that. And now all of the other space, we're going to be going at the back side of the pillars. So we're not going to be doubling it up, we're just going to go here at this back side, bring this up to the same height. We have this corner one here, we're just going to be right on top of this middle spot, like that. And that's it, we're not bringing this one up. So there we go, we'll do the same over on this side. So we have this further back part. And then the one that's right here in the middle. So it's looking like this. Now be sure to grab some dark oak wood slabs. And I'm going to start doing the roof overhang here for the porch. So I'll start over here just on this left side. Lined up where the overhang for these stairs are. I'll just start right here on top of the stripped spruce log. And we'll add a strip just straight across here. We'll bring this all the way along to the other side. back into this side, like that. So that's the first layer. And now we're gonna go up half a block right behind that and just wrap it around and bring it all the way along until we meet up with that pillar right in the middle that juts out right here. And then we'll go ahead and continue filling in the four spaces here in the middle. And then just continue this along 
wrap it around the corner and back into the main wall of the house right here and there we go that's it for the actual roof for the porch part now let's go ahead and start marking out the railings and the floors here for the balcony make sure to switch to your stripped spruce logs we're going to be at the same layer as the second layer of the slabs here. We're going to be right behind them and in between all of the pillars, we'll just place some logs on their side like that. So we we'll do that in between all of these pillars, just right behind these dark oak wood slabs. And now on top of all of those logs, you can switch to the spruce wood stairs. We'll go from the outside. And we'll place these upside down, just in between all these pillars, right on top of those logs we just placed. And now we'll go from the inside, you can switch to the lectern, so we're going to be placing these on top of the stairs. And then you can switch to your spruce wood planks, and we're going to start filling in all of the space lined up here, at the layer where these stairs are. And it should match up to the layer here for the floors where these doors are. So just like that, they are at the same layer so everything worked out as it should. So we'll go ahead and fill all of this in here for the balcony level. And then after we fill this in, we'll be sure to add the spruce trap doors on top of all the lecterns. So there we go, that's all filled in. Now let's crouch and add all the trapdoors. And there we go. We have all that marked out, looking good so far. And I think I'm going to leave it at that for now, here for the porch and balcony space. We'll probably do the roof for these lower sides here at the front on each side and at the back and we'll probably then just leave it at that here for part two now just make sure you have the spruce wood stairs spruce wood slabs full blocks of the spruce wood planks and then some dark oak wood stairs dark oak wood slabs stripped spruce logs and some white stained glass panes i'll start over here at this right side and i'm just going to use the spruce wood stairs i'm going to be here at the same layer as these beams that we brought across we're going to be adding these upside down spruce wood stairs. You can bring this over until you're lined up here at the edge. Add the spruce wood slab. And then we'll go ahead and have a strip of the stairs going straight across right here. Bring this over until you're lined up at the edge on this side. Add the slab. And then you can bring this all the way over. And stop it right there. That'll be fine. And now, let's go ahead and fill in the full block right here in each corner. And then, we're going to start shaping out a triangle point here at the front. So we'll start here in the corner right on top of the slab. And we'll have just a stair like that. And then we'll have an upside down one right behind it. And then we're just going to go back and forth with one facing up like that. One upside down. One facing up. And upside down just back and forth until you meet up with the middle. And in this case, the middle point for this roof. It's going to be where this pillar is. So we'll bring this side up and we're lined up right here. So now you can see we brought that up so it's lined up where those planks are. We'll do the same starting right here from this corner. So this is what it's looking like, they're both brought up to the same height, and we're just left with the one space in the middle, which is the middle point. Now, I'm just going to switch to the full block of the spruce wood planks. I'm going to place one just right here in the middle, and then we'll have an upside down stair going out from that. On top of the stair, we're going to just add two slabs, and then an extra slab right here behind it. Just like that. Now let's just line up where those spruce wood stairs are. And we're going to start filling in the rest of the roof with the dark oak wood stairs. So we'll just start here on this first layer. We'll bring this all the way in until we meet up at that wall. You can see how we just lined up with the spruce wood stair. So we're just going to keep working our way up. Fill all of this in so we just stop that at the pillar. 
we have the next layer and we're going to bring this until we're lined up with the pillar so it'll just be in one block further like that we'll do that for the rest of the layers and then down the middle up here at the top is going to be the slabs like that so we have this entire side filled in now we'll go on this side we're going to be doing the same thing and there we go now we have this entire side filled in right here you can see we'll just leave the stairs right there that is fine so now we have all that filled in looking like this it looks good and before we do the window all right here, I'm actually going to go here at the left side, do the exact same thing that we just did here. So I'll be sure to show you how to do it one more time over there. And then we're going to be doing the same exact thing here at the back side. So I'll show it one more time over here. So I'll switch to the spruce wood stairs. We're just going to be here at the same layer as these beams. Place these upside down. Bring this over until you meet up at the edge. We'll have the slab. Back to the stairs all along here. Meet up at the edge. Have the slab. And then the stairs again. And it's going to stop right there. Go ahead and switch to the spruce wood planks. We'll fill in the corner. And then we'll go ahead and start shaping out the triangle point. So make sure to switch to your spruce wood stairs. We'll just start here in the corner. We'll have a stair like that upside down and then just back and forth so up upside down up and upside down until you're lined up right next to that middle point so it'll be right here so we have that side brought up we'll do the same over here and then we'll have the full block of the spruce wood plank right there upside down stair in front of it the two layers of the slabs and then another slab here behind it and now let's fill all of the sides in behind all those stairs with the dark oak stairs and then once again the extra layer of the slabs along the top and make sure this goes in right here one block further so that you're lined up where this pillar is just like that And there we go. We have the roof filled in for this side now. Have it all marked out. And now I'm going to head to the back. We're going to do the same thing right here as well as for that side. So I'll see you guys once I have that all done. And then we'll go ahead and start filling in the triangle space right there in the middle. So now I have all the roof, like the lower parts, all marked out for the front and back for each side. So this is what it's looking like so far. I'll head back on up to the front and I'll start up here. And I'll go over here to this right side. I'm going to start marking out. We have some beams and we have pretty much like a big window here. You can start with the stripped spruce log. We're going to go right down the middle, right on top of the stair here where the overhang is. We'll bring this straight up, like that. You could go right behind it. And we're going to add an additional two layers, so it'll be three in total. So this is another one. And then right behind that, we'll have one more. We're going to bring it down to the same layer right here at the bottom. So that's what it's looking like. And now in each corner, we're going to go right here, just add two like that, right next to it, we're going to go ahead and bring up another three. Do the same over on this side, so two right here, and then three right next to that. And now, we're going to go right along here, down the middle, and add a beam. So here at the top layer of this space of three that we just added, we're going to go ahead and fill in a three like that. We'll do the same on this side. And now all of the other space 
we're going to fill in with white stained glass panes. So we have a total of six spaces right here. Same with this side. And then we have this corner piece right here. Like that. So this is what it's looking like. We're going to be doing that for every other space. I'll show it one more time over there. And then I'll just fast forward the two spaces at the back. So switch back to your stripped spruce log. We're going to have this just going right down the middle. Right there. Right behind it. We're going to have two more. Go back on the outside. We'll go in each corner. Add two here. And then three next to that. And then here on this layer, we'll add the beam going straight across. And now you could go ahead and fill the rest of it in with the white stained glass panes. And there we go. Now, I'm going to do the same for each side here at the back. And like I said, I'm just going to fast forward that and I'll see you guys once I have it done. I filled in every space, so that's what they are looking like. And now I think I'm going to do one last thing here in this video. And that's going to be these bushes that I'm going to have underneath the windows on the second floor. So I'm just going to clear all that. I'm going to grab some spruce wood slabs the spruce signs and then we're also going to need some jungle leaves i'll just start here at the back since we're already here i'm going to be using the jungle leaves first we're going to go underneath all the windows just right here on this layer and add two jungle leaves just lined up where those windows are like that here at the back now underneath all of those we're going to add the spruce slabs And now let's cover up the sides of these jungle leaves with the spruce trap doors. Or my bad, not trap doors, spruce signs. So that's what it's looking like. Now let's go up to the front. We're just going to have two right here underneath those windows. As well as for that side. And there we go. We have those here at the front now too. And I'm going to go ahead and now just leave it at that here for part two. So we got quite a lot done here in this video. All we really have left to do now is the main roof of the house. All up here for the second floor right above the balcony. So that'll be what we do in part three. We should also have time to do all of the landscaping in part three. And then the entire exterior of the build will be done. In part 4, we'll then be heading on to the interior. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it at that here for part 2 for this tutorial on how to build this wooden mansion. If it helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 3.